When I first read the script, I made me realize that I knew nothing about the life of Tolkien. I knew all of his work and um, and I'm a fan of, of him as a writer, but to find out that he lived such an incredible life was was really special. And then to see the relationships that he had with, with the TCBS was something that I just couldn't, could not be a part of. I immediately made sort of connections with other films that I'd seen, um, one being the Dead Poet Society that was mentioned before in a previous interview. Uh, this, this, a group of young men who want to discuss and talk about art and push each other to be the best that they can be. Um, I, I loved that. I think that's very rare today. Um, so I just kind of wanted to live in that little world for a while. You know, when I thought of Tolkien, I would think of him as you know an old professor, you know, like, you know, being all over these books and stuff. And w when I read this film, I realised that he was just a young rebel. The guy was stealing buses. You know, he was he had an insatiable appetite for life, creating languages. And I just really wanted to be a part of a film. I think it was vital for someone like Tolkien, who'd had the upbringing that he'd had. Uh, to have that uh, sort of unbreakable bond um, and unit in his life that he could go to and fall back on and s they could support him, they could test him, um, they could annoy him. Uh, they t I think him being a part of the TCBS taught him a lot about life. Yeah, as I played Jeffrey Smith, um, one of the members of the TCBS, and he feels that Tolkien is a kindred spirit. I think he meets him and he's alone. Um, I think Geoffrey often feels very alone and uh, sort of extends the olive branch, you know, w wants to, to invite him into the little crew that they've already got. I play Christopher Wiseman, who is a young composer, mathematician, linguist, um, who, uh, who is probably out of, out of the four of the TCBS, he's the, the one with the least, he doesn't have a filter, is what I'm trying to say. It just all flows out of him. And uh, he, he is very jealous of Tolkien. He's also, I think, a little bit aware of um, being outdone by people. Um, there's a few scenes where uh, Robert's character, Robert, um, sort of tests Christopher and he's not sure how to deal with it, he doesn't like to be on the back foot. Um, so yeah, he, he sort of, he has the, the ingredients in that group to make it a little um, tense now and again. Um, but it's, all, it's a lot of the time with love and, uh, and I think the boys love him for that. And I play Robert Gilson, who is one of the members of the TCBS as well. And he, his dad was the principal at King Edwards, where they all went to school. <coughs> um, I met, I met initially, and I think Robert, when he first meets Tolkien, he's um, they they're sort of at odds a little bit, um, but then I think Robert really recognizes a similar thing within within Tolkien, which is a sort of outsider quality, and um, and a need for acceptance and and a need for this brotherhood, and they become this wonderful group that they are. I think Nick's just one of those really human actors. You know, he just really feels, he just lets you in. You, you, you watch him on screen and I don't feel like there's any pretense. He just, you just are drawn to him. And uh, a very likable quality. Yeah. Amazing, unreal. Yeah. Dome was just the best crack yeah. ever. Do he I've never met a man with insane. so much energy. Yeah. yeah. And and flair for life mm. and filmmaking. And he just lives and breathes it. That man is just it's in his DNA. Mm. And you could tell he was like a kid in a sweet shop when we yeah. set. He was just like, Okay, okay, let's get let's get yeah. another one. And we get all the material that he wanted and then 
it, it looked like he'd had 15 coffees when he hadn't had one. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he quit off sugar. Yeah, he yeah. Yeah. sugar, caffeine, but still he was like, no, nah, nah, the whole yeah. time. Um, <laughs> that was it, that was literally and, it. And he was like, you know, we'd, we'd get all the material and then he'd go, right, okay, let's get one more, let's get one more, this one's just for you. Um, yeah. Fly it around, play around with it, let's see what happens. And usually that was the best take. Yeah. Um, he gave us that freedom to explore and to have fun and, and to not be worried about looking stupid. Yeah, he wanted, which, he wanted um, us to mess it up because yeah. so, much, so much goodness came out of that. Yeah. Now to accurately portray John Coffey, the convicted killer charged with brutally murdering two little girls in the emotionally charged The Green Mile, actor Michael Clark Duncan would recall childhood memories of his father abandoning him to help power him with the raw emotion he needed some of the heaviest scenes. 